Hi there and welcome. My name is Hal Pedler from THE TV. We are joined by Kerry Garner from Yorkshire Air Ambulance. How are you today? You all right? I'm very good, thank you very much. Excellent. So, so Kerry, what we'd like to talk about today is just for you to uh, give us a little bit of an insight to how Yorkshire Air Ambulance works. Is that okay? Of course it is, yeah, that's fine. Excellent. So we were, we were talking earlier um, and what I'd like you to do is just tell me a little bit about how the Air Ambulance got started. Yeah, so uh, we're, we'll be 14 next month, um, wow. so we have come a long way in that time. Um, mm -hmm. So when we began, um, it was a, quite a lot different to, to what we do now. Um, so we started off in a, in a porter cabin um, and uh, we had far less staff and uh, we had to raise less as well. Um, we leased a 15-year-old helicopter. Just 15 one. years old? Yeah, wow. um, and uh, it's not the ones that we have now, um, mm -hmm. but uh, sort of since then it used to be kind of part funded by the AA, um, mm -hmm. but that was pulled out um, very early on, and that was when the fundraising really had to start and really began, yeah, um, and then we've just sort of gone from strength to strength from then really. Um, so. Excellent. Has there been any times over the years when the charity's really been in trouble, and, and if so, what did they do to, to turn that around? I think near the beginning, um, it was kind of very much sort of waiting for the post every every day um, and seeing what checks came in. Really, um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, um, That's amazing. And uh, I think when the AA funding was cut, that was a bit of a, a troublesome time because we mm. suddenly had to go from raising I think a quarter of a million to um, to a million. So that's a, a massive leap. Um, yeah. I think sort of as the years have gone on, there's been an infrastructure in place. Um, we've got a great board of trustees and a fundraising team. Um, mm -hmm. We've got sort of, you know, different income streams that we work on. Um, I think the, the defining moment for our charity was probably picking up Richard Hammond a few years ago. People mm -hmm. may remember that yeah. accident um, filming Top Gear um, at Elvington, New York. Mm -hmm. um, and from that, that's really massively raised our profile and awareness. And our programme Helicopter Heroes came from that as well, which has, has meant you know that awareness has gone even further. Yeah. Um, and that was in 2007, and that actually allowed us the support from that to put a down payment on our second helicopter. So from that, we had the two as well. So Amazing. probably that was our defining moment within the charity, and then maybe we've sort of gone from strength to strength from, from then, really. Excellent. Now, I know this because we've just talked about it, but why don't you tell us a little bit about how much money the charity needs now to just to keep going as it is? Yeah, so now we have to raise three points £6 million pounds a year or £9,990 pounds a day. Um, we don't get any funding at all, which mm -hmm. uh, still not a lot of people realise. Um, we have to raise all that money ourselves, the, the good people of Yorkshire. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a massive challenge. Mm. Um, and we, the only help we, don't, we do get are the paramedics, they're seconded from the ambulance service and they yeah. fly on our helicopters. But apart from that, we have to pay for the pilots, the fuel, the maintenance of the helicopters. Windscreen wipers cost £43,000, for example, mm -hmm. to replace if we need to buy them at any point. Yeah. Um, everything's very, very expensive. So uh, that's where the money Absolutely. goes. Mm -hmm. And um, why don't you go through a little bit about what you and the other fundraiser raising staff uh, do on a day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week basis? Yeah, I mean, it's quite difficult to answer, really, because every day is completely okay. different. Wow. So one day, I mean, I'm doing this today, um, you know, I could be going to a posh black tie dinner. The next day I might be going to, like, a coffee morning. Okay. Um, I might be then doing a talk at, like, a, a ladies, like, WI group or a church group. Mm -hmm. um, and then also meet lots of meetings with maybe corporates to d discuss, like, charity partnerships or charities of the year. Mm -hmm. um, so, or then, like, in the, on the weekends, we could be standing in a field at a gala or a fete. Um, so, yeah, every day is so really different. Lots of variety then. Yeah, It's be good fun, actually. It do, you enjoy, is, do you enjoy what you do? Yes, definitely. Mm. We all do. We're a bit geeky, really, because <laughs> we all, like, absolutely love our jobs. So it yeah. is great. Excellent. And last question, Kerry. What, what can young people do to help the Yorkshire Air, Air Ambulance? Well, we have um, a variety of ways that people can help. And what our charity is all about, because we, we don't do a knock or we don't um, you know, ask for money, really, which is a bit silly with a charity, but we don't. Um, we like to raise the awareness and give people information and then give people a shopping list of how they can help. Um, so there's uh, different ways to donate. Um, on our website, it's got all the information. Um, we're on social media as well, so you know information to help that way. Um, mm -hmm. We ask for volunteering and people to give up their own time. We have yeah. a recycling scheme. People can sign up for regular giving. Um, mm -hmm. People very kindly hold coffee mornings and uh, all sorts of events and fundraising for us. So there's all different ways that, that people can help us, and a lot of that information is on our website. Um, as I said, like Facebook and Twitter as well. So. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for thank having you me. For thank you. Signing off from THE TV, we've had Kerry from Yorkshire Air Ambulance. I'm Hal Peddler. Thank you very much. Leave your comments below and have a good evening.